Hey there guys, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndromes, and welcome back to Avorian. Hopefully you got your uh, Christmas celebrations well celebrated, you got drunk, you had fun with your family and friends in a hopefully safe environment, hopefully your in-laws didn't bother you, hopefully you had the chance or excuse to avoid some of the more unpleasant situations when it comes to family get-togethers. I had fun. I had to, um, well, not had to, I had the pleasure of setting up a VR headset for my little brother and sister, and that actually turned out to be quite an interesting experience to the point where maybe I will consider getting a Vive, or, say, a Valve Index in the near future. And, uh, maybe not. Who the hell knows? Anyway, hopefully you have been rested, and we can get back to Avorian. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Um, the RTS playthrough of Avorian is turning out to be much more fun, like, personally fun, than I had any reason to hope for. The thing is, I had tried something very similar to this, although granted, it was before Avorian 2.0, and it didn't really... It, it really didn't gel all that well together with me, but this situation so far is actually very interesting, because I had a chance to sit down and kind of think about what I wanted to do in the upcoming episodes, and uh, the thing is, um, this particular type of playthrough allows us to um, do things a little bit more uniquely. So uh, today we're going to kind of establish a very kind of um, a short-term goal list, as I usually do in these episodes. And as you probably already remember, um, one of the things that I like to do is set up more automated mining ships. Yes, we currently have the whole, you know, off-screen um, uh, captain expedition things, but uh, the fact of the matter is our captains are not mining ship captains right now. And uh, if anything, the first captain that we obtained for the mining ship specifically, I tried to make sure that it was in fact not um, a specialized captain just for the sake of you know, getting more money, or rather, um, you know, hiring uh, the person for less uh, money. Uh, instead, I kind of want to tweak this a little bit. So, I know for a fact that right now our overall income when it comes to uh, titanium and iron is not that good. It's only one ship toiling away and only has two turrets. So, first things first, I want to increase my autonomous, uh, you know, uh, my overall chances for this Let's Play by putting a little bit more effort into that mining ship. Like, we want to not completely redesign it, but make sure that it is large enough that it can mount a few more civilian turret expansions uh, for it to, you know, do its thing a little bit more faster, a little bit more easier, and after that we also want to, you know, basically max out our current um, offensive ship, but unlike the previous playthroughs where I just kind of put more and more effort into mining ships so I don't have to worry about mining myself, this time around it's going to be a little bit different. I want to introduce a new type of ship that is actually going to be following us around, like constantly following us around. Uh, we are going to make a migratory fleet, basically, except for that, you know, one perpetual mining ship that is always going to be toiling away. And um, the ship that I had in mind is, first and foremost, going to be a combat ship. Yeah, alright. Uh, but uh, it is going to have a equal amount of civilian and military control systems for the turrets. Uh, because, especially when it's kind of, you know, um, early game like this, we might find resource systems. Now, since the ship that is responsible of automated mining is already toiling, there's no reason for it uh, to come to that new system until it finishes the current assignment. Um, it is within our best interest to actually just selectively mine out a few things. So, for example, as we're going to be moving around, we might come across uh, something like this. So, something like um, an asteroid like this. Now, I'm not going to spend my time and move our only mining ship just for the sake of claiming this. Well, not claiming, but rather just for the sake of mining this out. So, for example, if I 
uh, find a titanium asteroid right now that is kind of like this, then hell yeah, I want to instantaneously grab it and damn the cost. I can wait for it to, you know, be mined out. Now, in order to do that, I want to have what is essentially a utility ship that is going to be capable of both uh, offensive maneuvers um, and supporting the shooter in combat, and also, if need be, we can use it to mine out selective asteroids. Like, we're not going to leave it in the system, it's going to always be following us around, but for specific moments like this, I want it to be there and capable of grabbing things. But, they'll have to, uh, they'll have to wait a little bit, uh, simply because, well, you know, <laughs> I, I can't really say that um, we have a lot of money right now. Um, in terms of money, we are actually at 72,000 credits, which is fair enough. It's more that we don't have any titanium and any iron. So, with that in mind, today's episode is going to be more about exploring, and we're also going to try to get a few missions. So, let's actually, first of all, let's take a look at the Pirate Trouble. Yep, fair enough. Uh, we're going to figure this out a little bit later. So, right now, we are actually close enough to the uh, side of the galaxy uh, that torpedoes as a thing, as a threat, do not yet exist. And that is for the best, because right now, this ship is <laughs> not really suited for that sort of thing. So, honestly, right now, I kind of want to see our mining ship to be capable of mining up a little bit of uh, titanium, because uh, right now, I would actually just like to take the ship and just max it out to, I think it was five, no, sorry, yeah, five slots, up to five slots, just for the, um, uh, just for the ability to my, uh, to mount more things on this thing. So, for example, we definitely want to mount this thing, but at the same time, um, we might need more generation, like energy generation. For that, we need titanium. That is not exactly an option right now. So, instead, let us uh, travel to this uh, next system. We have a yellow sector right next to us, so we just might as well you know, see, what, see what we can find. All right, that's interesting. Uh, so, we have a wormhole here. Uh, I don't think that it, it... It looks like it's one of those wormholes that actually leads to the opposite side of the galaxy, so my, my guess it would be somewhere here since we're starting off here. They did change how wormholes worked. Uh, there's a lot less wormholes that just catapult you into the next sector, so to speak, and that's good. That is exactly what we don't want to happen right now. Uh, that being said, I do want to just start exploring all of these green sectors as well. Yellow sectors are fine, but the fact of the matter is that right now we need to find claimable asteroids, we need to find um, loot, bo loot boxes, no, that's a taboo word. <laughs> no, we want to find uh, stashes, and uh, we most definitely will want to try and... Uh, you know, get into a little bit of mission doing things. So, uh, let's take a look. So, we are in a nice little system that's um, not all that interesting at first glance. I don't see any climbable asteroids just yet. But... That being said... Yeah. There is just nothing in the system for us to do, so let's just keep going. Now, I am purposefully not going towards the center of the galaxy. Um, we are going to get a little less uh, quality, um, well, technology uh, level-wise, we're going to get a little bit less quality in terms of what kind of stuff we find, but not to the point where I want to kind of risk the ship just yet. I think the previous um, overall battle actually did show us that the ship is capable enough just yet, but yeah. So this is what I said, so if we had a second ship that actually had the mining turrets, I would just quickly grab this one asteroid before moving on, and 
You know what, I think that, technically speaking, I should be able to do that with this thing. Uh, it is currently running a flawless purifying uh, salvage laser. Do I have something that is... no. Sadly, we do not, in fact, have any mining turrets. We'll have to wait for that. Uh, I could go back over here where the uh, capital is and just buy myself something, but right now, like, so early on in the game, I am... I don't want to buy anything just for the sake of this. Uh, but we could do this. So this is the mission where you get the lady, which uh, also gives you a chance to kind of, you know, figure out how the captains work. And, and I think that we are actually going to do that simply for the sake, if nothing else, to get a second ship. And on that ship, we will be able to just put everything that we need, hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get over there. Now the question is, will it be... Oh, see, it, 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 it still does that, so... You, you kind of need to keep telling it to do the thing, because if you are in a ship, which I still think it's a bug, like, there's no way this is intended. So, the moment you jump into a system, it is going to automatically try to fly you towards the, quote, center of the sector. And that is going to just instantly disable any sort of chain commands that you have, so I have to, like, keep repressing this thing, and it's... yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. On a ship like this, it doesn't really matter. It's it's so quick. So, first things first. Please stop. Okay. So, the adventure. Hey, thank, thanks for coming. So, I tried to... Uh, everything to get your ship back, but I couldn't manage to do it. I'm truly sorry about that. But I wanted to make it up to you so you can have one of my ships, the Lady. Also, while we were trying at it, I'll show you uh, quickly how to command ships that are in the same sector as you. If you... Have you already found the strategy interface? It's really useful here. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Have we found the strategy interface? Open strategy. Uh, you'll... okay. Order the lady to escort you. So, it just, um, it just transferred the lady's ownership to me. That's really good. And now I'm just gonna tell it to escort. Now, this actually does make sense. Uh, when I did this mission uh, the first time around, when I, I wasn't using the um, tactical interface at all, I was trying to figure out, I was like, guard this position, whatever. Well, no, when you select a ship, it just immediately tells it to escort you. So, you know, in this case, it would be just telling it to fly over there. And that is exactly what we did. And there we go. That's the lady. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Nice selection. You can order your ships to do many things, and like flying to a location, mining, or docking for you. Uh, for the simple tasks, you won't even need a captain. Thank you, 2.0 update. Uh, the ship's autopilot will do that for you. So, why captains then? Contrary to the autopilot, captains are highly skilled individuals who will work completely independently and who can do various long-term tasks. Uh, you just have to assign them uh, as the captain of the ship, and they're ready to go. They'll even give you bonuses for the ship, depending on their class. Then, on the galaxy map, you can give them many different orders, such as flying trade routes for you, mining or salvaging for a long time, or even scouting sectors or going on expeditions. The crew of the Liberty uh, Lady Adventurers has agreed to work for you. Since I still owe you a ship, I'd like to do... I'd like to sign her over to you permanently. Maybe you can assign your newly hired captain to her. Anyway, I'm off to look for a way to cross the uh, Great Barrier. Yeah, okay, so the captain that he is currently talking about, by the way, if you missed it, is that in the previous episode, I managed to buy myself a captain which is already living on the mining ship. So uh, this tutorial mission in specific does not really account for the fact that you might have already created a ship and assigned captains already. But that's perfectly fine. Now then, um, in terms of uh, the lady, though, uh, I want to take a look at what exactly are we dealing with. Because right now, it looks like a very, very primitive ship. 
Um, it does have generators, uh, the default generated energy from your core block, by the way, for those of you who missed it, is 500 megawatts, and right now it's generating uh, three times that, so there is in fact, and I think I can even see it, yeah, there it is, titanium generator, very nice. Um, that being said though, um, it, okay. That's good. It's a three-slot ship, just like my current one, although it has a lot less hull. Um, it has nothing else. Okay, so honestly, I would still like to have this, like this specific control subsystem on my previous ship, but as already said, I still think that we will in fact run out of uh, uh, energy on that thing, so I want to go back and install it and swap it over, rather, once we had a little bit more titanium. Now, we don't have titanium right now, so instead, I'm going to really, really quickly make sure that all of this is fine. She only has two people on it, so that means that even if I did place uh, any sort of turrets right now, this ship is completely useless because it does not have the capabilities of fielding weapons, which is... I think a bit of an oversight for this particular, um, you know, this particular tutorial, but it really is what it is. It's really not that big of a deal. So, uh, the Lady Adventures is going to just escort this thing, but right now I think that the Lady is actually going to be a lot better if we kind of just have it um, chill here. So. Um, since the lady does not have a captain, that is, you know, fair enough, uh, we are instead, okay, first of all, we're going to tell it to escort our ship, and then we are going to tell our ship to actually just, uh, fly over to the, uh, capital, and, um, yeah, hopefully that is going to be a nice and easy, and that the, um, the lady won't really need a captain just to escort the ship, question mark? Yep, there we go. The lady is, in fact, escorting it. Now, again, the glitch comes into play. We're flying towards the center of the, gal uh, the sector. One more jump, and it is going to be fine. Now, for the time being, I'm really just going to leave the lady here. I'm not going to touch this ship at all, just yet. I'm going to send it towards the equipment dealer because once we do get a little bit more um, titanium, that is where we are going to meet up. And it's going to be just, a, you know, a safe place for it to chill for the time being. We have three ships, this is perfectly fine. If I had a spare mining turret, I would put it on a lady, but at the same time, it would also require a mining system and etc, eh, etc. Et uh, technically speaking, we could do that. Maybe it's not really that big of a deal just yet. We could just start it off as a mining ship without a, a mining... Oh dear, that's... Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, we could start it off as just a actual, just regular mining ship, and then convert it into a um, support ship once we have the necessary resources for that. Um, but yeah, I I think I'm just going to leave it here for now. There's still a lot of unexplored things for us over here that I kind of want to grab first. So yeah, let's uh, do that. And there we go. Loom. I would really like to get into some sort of fight right now because we do need the items, we do need the experience, and well, not the experience, rather, uh, the everything else. So <laughs> this place just has a biolab. Uh, biotrope, sorry. That was me playing Planet Side 2 for like three years straight. It does not... See, again, I would really like to just quickly grab this, but sadly, that is not a going to happen. And again, see, there's just this huge asteroid that I would just love to have a ship just grab along the way. 
I don't know, maybe I should just place the thing on the lady and just, you know, let it be. It's going to be very hard to tell if there's any um, stashes here or anything else. The best I can do is just kind of do a bit of a visual scan. Yeah, I'm not going to remain here for long. Anyway, let's jump into the next system. Let's see if we are going to uh, find something worthwhile. What I would really like to happen is just some sort of pirate raid because in a system, sorry, in a sector like this, where it's just one station and uh, one trade ship, it would be amazing. If it happened in a system like this, look at all these Corvettes, um, we would just... <laughs> they would just keel steal all the good stuff for, uh, from under our noses. And uh, that's not something I want to have to deal with. Again, see? Nice little chunky titanium asteroid. Would be really good for us to just you know, grab this thing, but... Eh, XD. You know, I keep saying that. This continues, I will actually just go back and set up the lady as a, as a support ship. I suppose that is just one of our short-term goals, but... Honestly, I would really love to do something with our mining ship as well first, because that's kind of the lifeline of our current operation. As I'm running around and, you know, technically doing nothing, that thing is supposed to be getting us resources, but... Uh, which is actually... is what is happening right now, so that's that's kind of neato. Okay, so, uh, again... Ah, uh, look at it! It's like, ah, uh, all this titanium floating around and I cannot do anything about it. Not just because I don't have a support ship capable of doing that, but also I don't have any, um, mining uh, turrets. Which I... I usually don't hope for these when I find any um, secret stashes or anything like that. But at like right now, it would actually be really, really good if we find uh, if we found something like that. Huh. I don't know. It looks like we don't really have anything like that. And we'll just have to do what to do. Uh, look at this big old rock. Oh, mobile merchant, how nice of you. Yeah, uh, trying to figure out if there's any, like, stuff here is somewhat problematic. Like, the last thing I want to do is just actually bring the mining ship with us, because that would just necessitate... Necess uh, that would just mean that every single time we jump into a new system, I would just have to go silent for like 10 minutes until it finishes, you know, gathering all the resources. I can't keep talking through all of that, you know, and not run out of things to talk about. But, well, it is when it is. Again, this is not so much as a challenge, it's just a proof of concept for the most part. And also just to see if this is feasible. Like, is this fun? And right now, I'm telling you, it is fun. It, I, it, it works a lot better than I thought it would. But then again, I am repeating myself right now. I already said that at the very start of the video. Okay, so this is just a populated sector. There shouldn't be anything too worthy of note here. It's a safe system, so to speak. So, with that in mind, let's just uh, jump to the next one. I'm looking for more yellow sectors, if I'm honest. Loop. I really hope that uh, the mining ship has managed to find a pretty chunky source of titanium. It is really something that I really want to do. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. Again, nice little titanium asteroids. A shame we can't really do anything about them, he said for the fourth time now. And nothing that I can see instantly. So there's no claimable asteroids here. But there might be... Um, Secret stashes, if I am lucky enough to kind of just spot them.
Okay, so there is nothing interesting here. Let's keep going. Uh, let's go to this side. Oh, that's a that's a neat large source of titanium. Sorry, uh, of iron. You know we'll have to do it. Is we'll need to make the lady into what is essentially the support ship. It's just that I'm pretty sure I need at least 2,000 titanium to do it, because first of all, I need to upgrade the shooter so it can fit the better my, um, combat uh, control system, and then have enough to actually, you know, deck out the lady a little bit. You know? Give the lady some new shoes. We are currently encountering some very relatively poor systems. Yeah, see, it's already mining uh, iron again. Which is a shame. The thing is, if I only had the capability... Like, if, if I only could find a claimable asteroid, I would just use those credits to literally buy ourselves a mining captain, if I can find one. <sighs> Honestly, I should really keep an eye out on them, because we will need that thing sooner or later anyway. But yeah, just send that mining ship onto what is essentially a proper mining job, you know, instead of these short ones. Okay, let's keep going. So right now, all of these green systems are systems that are more or less controlled by the same faction that we're currently friendly with that are that who's um in whose territory we actually started off and so these green systems are not really going to surprise us all that much there is a chance to get claimable asteroids and systems like the in sectors like this but um those are very very rare it's actually a lot more um, possible to get hidden asteroids. I need to just ch ch shoosh. Um, yeah, so finding stashes in these systems is actually a little bit more, a little bit less rare. But anyway, I think I saw a yellow system. There we go. Okay, now we're going to be having fun. Hopefully. Boink. Okay. We have enemies. The Smuku. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I am at bad um, relations with this dude, but not completely hostile. So maybe I should be able to actually help him out and... Uh, you know, kill these guys. Let's see if we can actually do that. Hopefully this thing is not just going to die. He is fleeing away from both me and them, so catching up to these guys is going to be a bit of a trouble. <laughs> we need to deal with this traitor. No, you need to, f you need to come over here and shoot me. I'm aiming for the front ship because it is much more likely to actually deal damage to this dude, and it looks like... Yeah, there's no way I'm catching these guys. Like, my ship is so armored right now that once I just run out of energy, I'm just stuck to a, at around 200 meters per second. Yeah, good luck with that. These guys are running at, like, twice as that speed. Yeah, see? What is up with that? So... At some point in time, this thing just completely cancels its um, ongoing programming. Like, it just cancels the order at some point. I can see why that's a good thing sometimes, but in this case, that is in fact going to just cost us uh, this. I would really like to actually attack this dude, but it's not actively attacking this guy. Uh, what did you do? Why did you fly into it? 
Oh, you dumb. Speaking of dumb, what is my ship doing? Come on, get in range. There we go. Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Okay. No, no, no. Continue, continue, continue. Come on, come on. Kill it. Don't let it... Good. And now for this. And now... There's one more. Or two more. Okay, please don't be a dumb and do not fly towards them. You are literally at... how much? 15%. Oh, please don't be a dumb. I'm trying to save you! I'm trying to save you here. Please stop suiciding. Unless those guys are coming for me, it's hard to tell. Well... Yeah, um, yeah, c c can you attack? Attack. See, this is literally where the biggest um, challenge is going to come from. Simply trying to make this work, because for some reason, this ship is, well, this, that's all she wrote. Uh, this thing is not wanting to get close to two ships, which makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. It really makes sense. But I needed that, <laughs> that guy alive. And this guy just decided to start kiting. If there's any kind of way to change the, um, like, the way that these guys do the do, it would be a very good thing. Like, it, it would be a quality of life improvement if you actually tell us, like, oh, you want to kite these ships, or XD, you want to get very close and personal with them. Uh, we have lost 10% of our hull, which means that in about 10 more percent, we're going to start taking damage where we lose blocks. Now, I want to hopefully not have to deal with that, I think on Veteran, we do start losing stuff at, like, 80%. Okay, there we go. 86. Okay, sector cleared. Beautiful. Uh, now comes the annoying part. We need to figure out how... Like how high up these things are, <laughs> so the ship actually goes and uh, picks them up. It's it's still kind of sad that it's um, it doesn't show up as any items over here. Okay, uh, now there's one more over here. I think we are in the Proper. There we go. That should be fine. Like, this wouldn't be a problem at all if not for the fact that these things time out. Like, they disappear. And they disappear remarkably fast. I think it's like five minutes. And if you're dealing with a large ship and uh, picking them up one at a time, that just... You know, there's a big chance you're not going to pick up everything, so you need to start prioritizing. But when it comes to, you know, being so early on in the game, every single thing that we pick up has a lot of value to us. Like, we do want to have everything picked up. We can't really be choosy. We're, we are literally beggars. Okay, there we go. It picked it up. Standard point defense cannon, that's really good. Um, I usually get a little bit upset at picking up cannons, but in this case in particular, cannons are definitely something we want to have, and soon, simply because we are going to start encountering um, torpedoes and stuff like that. 
So, is this going to be close enough? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright. So, I'm just going to tell this dude to salvage as I just take a look at what exactly is it that we picked up. Right. So, we have a superior chain gun, which is really good. Uh, like, a DPS value of 42.8 at this point in time is actually very good. Um, apart from that, we have a standard chain gun, we have some derelict chain guns, yeah, just to fill out slots if we need to. Um, once we mount this thing, the uh, combat turret control systems, we are just going to keep mounting uh, miniguns until, you know, we are fully satiated, basically. And, uh, honestly, like, salvaging ships like this is not really worth the effort. Okay, wait, we still have one more. And it's it's actually a system, and I do want it because systems are important. My question is, can we make it until it despawns? Because sometimes we are really not that lucky. Uh, there is one more thing, by the way. Since these, uh, so, the ship does kind of decelerate as it approaches whatever it is that we, you know, told it to fly towards. So, and that's kind of annoying. Okay, so this is obviously the, um, yes, Operation Exodus. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's... I, I, I'm pretty sure they have fixed... Exodus since its implementation, like once it's it, it first started appearing, but ah, uh, come on, it, it is without a doubt my least favorite mission of all times, and I I know I keep saying that, but I just I just hate it how it's actually done. Like you could give me hints that oh it's on that side of the galaxy, or like I have to interact with other people until I kind of find something. Okay, this is... This is a resource system. That's cool. Um, there's a remarkably big chance that there's also some claimable I items here, at least. Um, some of those stashes that I keep saying should be here, but then I never see them. Okay, let's let's actually just start from the top then. Uh, something like this, and just go down, and hopefully we might be able to see something. Okay, not this time around. What about this? Oh, our mining ship has uh, come across some titanium. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go back at least, uh, when we have at least a thousand. Like, that is the short-term goal that I need, a thousand titanium. And then it's going to be worth going back. We're gonna put a little bit more into the lady first, because... I have a feeling that if we can selectively tell the lady just mine out specific asteroids as we just keep exploring, that's actually going to be much more profitable for us than... You know, waiting on that current ship, but... But, at the same time... Oh, I think I just saw a claimable uh, stachio. A, I like this. Shooter, get over here. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, um, I probably need to put more into the mining ship first. Simply, simply so that I can completely forget about it and let it do its own thing. So, as I said, we start losing stuff when we hit 80% hull, and right now, the shooter is so well off that it's already almost fully repaired itself. Uh, I'm gonna exit this just to make sure that we don't have any broken pieces. We don't. That's a good thing. And uh, now we just need it to grab that stash. And since we are about to hit our 40 second mark, we might as well stop this episode here. Yeah. Once it does so. 
But yeah, that is overall our current plan. We are going to invest a little bit into the mining ship, make sure that it has uh, some civilian uh, turrets so it can just mine the inv individual asteroids a little bit faster. Uh, we are going to put some money into the lady. And sadly, I didn't get a chance to actually do it this episode, but we do want to take a look at some of those missions. Now that we have the lady and we have the other ship, uh, trying to do one of those uh, missions that give you a captain would actually be a very important thing for us, uh, simply so we don't have to buy a captain. And uh, also, they did say that they changed the, the uh, mission itself, where you can actually see what kind of captain you're getting. And so, in other words, if we don't even get the captain, we still get the money for it. So that is equally important. Like, it's not just for the captains. Okay, there we go. And secret stash. There we go. What do we get? Auto turret control system. This is actually going to be quite important, this playthrough. So this is something that I did not know. Thank you for pointing this out. But auto turrets uh, provide additional, quote, weapon groups for NPC controlled ships. So for example, if you have a cannon, a long range uh, weapon on a ship that otherwise has short range uh, turrets, if they're all grouped in the same group and are not assigned to anything, then it is just going to shoot only when most of these turrets, uh, when all the rest of the turrets are more or less in range. If you set it as an auto turret, the NPC has no, no control, like, like no direct control over it. Like it's going to open fire instantly as long as um, there is an enemy close enough. So that means that instead of kind of revol uh, kind of depending on the uh, having to depend on the sometimes foolishness of these NPCs and how they pick their targets, you can kind of. Uh, do a backup and make sure that at least some of your guns are always just instantaneously going to shoot anything that is within range. And I think that is very important. Like, that thing is most likely going to go... Like, I could actually make the lady just a little bit squishier if I give her bolters. Like, and just... You know, for now, just so I don't have to worry about segregation, uh, sorry, like, I will have a short-range ship that is going to be the shooter, and the lady then can be the long-range one. But once I start unlocking stuff like railguns and stuff like that, ah, then it's going to be a little bit more... A little bit more interesting, a little bit more useful. All right, ladies and gents, I do believe that this concludes today's video. Again, um, I'm kind of slow going uh, going into the uploads right now simply because XD, it's the holidays, and I do want to kind of, you know, spend time with myself a little bit more. But hopefully this episode is going to kind of tie you off, <laughs> like hold you off a little bit. Well, not hold you off, yeah. you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching, boys and girls, and I'll see you in the uh, next episode.